Hey everybody, welcome back to The Average Adventurer. If you're new here or this is your first time joining, this channel is designed to show that average people can go out and create their own adventure. Everything's gonna be different for everybody. Not all adventures look the same and you don't necessarily have to be a survival expert to do so. If you know me or if you've seen my videos, I am certainly not one, just an average guy who likes to be outside and have some fun in the wilderness. But today's topic is how to find trails near you. So this can be easily done through your smartphone, which is why I'm uh, screen recording right now on my phone. So all you need to do to start is to download what's called the All Trails app. So I've got my little outdoors kind of folder here. Go here, it's the top one in the middle. Then you click and then it even says good morning to you. What a great way to start your, your day, your app saying good morning. So to start off on the first page when you open it, you're gonna see top trails nearby. Some other things you'll see are family friendly trail, trails nearby, best views nearby, trails less traveled. If you wanna kind of be more independent and not see a bunch of people, you can browse by activity, mountain biking, trail running, backpacking, walking, road biking, off-road driving, Camping, bird watching, horseback riding. I mean, there's a ton of things that you can search for on here. Dog friendly trails, weekend worthy. I'm not gonna go through everything, but as you can see, there's there's a ton of things to kind of search by, like whatever criteria that you'd want. So, first thing I'll do, top trails nearby, what I wanna do is I'm gonna enter in near me. So I live in Bunker Hill, West Virginia. As you can see at the top, there's 500 trails nearby. Um, Shockey's Knob, you the Tuscarora tra Trail. Um, but what I wanna do is show you kind of what inside one of these trails look like when you click on it. So I'm gonna click on the third battle Winchester, Winchester Trail Loop. Very easy loop. I actually plan on doing it here soon and getting some video of it. So stay tuned for that. So you go to click on it and at the top, you'll see there's directions how to get there. You can actually record yourself doing the trail and i'll show you here soon but it gives you a bunch of um, calories burned the distance elevation gained um, you can share it you can view your own map so it gives you a little information about it it's a 3.5 mi mile moderately traffic loop located near winchester virginia it gives you the length elevation gain route type then it gives you some right below that it will give you some information the location, um, gives you weather, current weather. You can then go to reviews. If you just scroll down, you can see reviews about it, what people say. You can go to photos, and then you can see kind of the photos that people have actually uploaded to it. Um, you can see other people's recordings um, and the stats that they've had. Let me click on my map, and you can see kind of how I did it, the route I took, pretty cool. Let me go back again. Facilities, paved parking lot, no washrooms, few benches, one trail. As you see, quite a bit of information you can have through these. And let's say that I wanna try a new one. Let's do the Poor House Farm Park Loop, for example. You can click on that and of course show more. But if you see the, the heart at the top right, you can see what just popped up, my favorites. Basically, when you click that um, heart, it adds it into your favorites. So, go back to the home screen. Actually, I'll, I'll go to plan. So, when I go to plan, these are my favorites. These are things that I have actually hit the little heart icon on the top right. Just certain hikes that I was just browsing through here and thought were interesting. Some may be pretty close, some are harder than others, moderate. There's very difficult. It just you want to pick some that are that are good for you. You can go to history, um, verified, completed. If you saw the video I did, the Sleepy Creek Loop, I'll put a little notification on the top right if you'd like to go back and watch that. You can actually go back and see um, actual hikes that you did. I'll pull my map up. Yep. So this is the Sleepy Creek hike that I did. Pretty cool. Pretty good information to have. So you can zoom in and check it out. As you can see here on the right side where it kind of jets off, I kind of got lost, <laughs> no big deal. But this app also shows you the route that you should be going. 
and let's say you do kind of get off track, then it's not a problem to bring your phone out and check your GPS. If you don't have a GPS, just make sure that's enabled. Go to stats. Yep, history, lifetime stats right here you can see. I've recorded 16 miles of trails through the app, 951 foot elevation gains, moving time of five hours and 29 minutes. And I burned over 4,000 calories. Uh, you can see your personal best there at the bottom. But again, this is just a, a cool app that you can use to find your own trails that maybe some people might not be aware of, or maybe you, you, you are aware of, but you may not know the in depth the biggest thing that I would recommend is going in and just simply playing with the app. That's the best thing you can do. So I wanted to make sure I put out information of, of ways that you can actually see trails if you're interested in hiking. So if you found this interesting, you appreciate it. You know, don't forget to you know smash the like button, um, comment to start a discussion, and go ahead and uh, subscribe for future content. I do have some trails that I would do want to hike that. You saw a couple, so maybe this is a little sneak peek. It's still a little snowy where I'm at, so I'm not a big snow guy. But thank you for watching. Share it with somebody if they don't know about this app. And have a great day. See you guys next time.